Hey everyone, welcome to Jarvis Mountain Outdoors. And I know I'm not outdoors right now, but hear me out. So last weekend I told you that I had made some homemade hand soap that I wanted to share the recipe with you guys. We do a lot of work outdoors and especially in the winter time, it dries out my skin. I'm sure a lot of you have the same issue. I have bought several different types of soaps. For example, here are a few of them that I have tried. I still get little cracks in my knuckles, little slits, little cuts, um, only to follow up with another lotion that burns my hands and turns them bright red. So I was on a mission to come up with something that I could wash my hands with that wasn't so harsh on my skin, that didn't contain a bunch of crazy chemicals that I couldn't pronounce. I wish I had known about this Pure Castile soap a long time ago, and maybe I'm a little bit late jumping on the bandwagon, but I found Dr. Bronner's 18-in-1 Hemp Almond, uh, Pure Castile Soap. So I wanted to add that not only is this Castile Soap made with all organic ingredients, it's also a concentrate. So a 32 ounce bottle will make a lot of hand soap. So since this is a concentrate, a 32 ounce bottle is gonna last a long time. And it has several uses too that are listed on the bottle. You can make obviously soap, shampoo, body wash, an all purpose cleaner. You can wash your dog. You can mop your floor. You can make laundry soap. So it's going to be a big money saver also in the long run. This recipe that I have, it's a foaming hand soap. So you'll need, I use a pint sized mason jar with a regular mouth. And then I have a foaming soap dispenser. It's important that you use a foaming soap dispenser for this recipe. I'm using 100% raw shea butter, 100% extra virgin coconut oil. So I've added my fourth teaspoon of shea butter and fourth teaspoon of coconut oil. And I just have it on a warm setting in a heat resistant measuring cup. And I just want to melt that down enough to liquefy it. All right, so I have that in liquid form now, and I'm just going to pour that into my mason jar, and it's just a very small amount. Next, I'm going to add a cup and a half of distilled or filtered water. I'm using filtered water. I'm going to go ahead and pour that into my jar with the oils. And then you need a half a cup of the Castile soap. And I'm using the citrus scent today. Just kind of give it a little stir. And that's it. So here it is, the finished product made with Castile soap with all organic oils, 100% raw shea butter, 100% extra virgin coconut oil, zero harsh chemicals. So now let's go try it out. I love it. It's moisturizing, your hands still feel squeaky clean, and it's not hard on your skin. So thank you all for watching. I hope this helps someone. And if you like this kind of content, I will have some more. Uh, we have a lot of projects we'll be doing outdoors, so I promise we'll get back outside soon. Um, but if you like this, subscribe, like, and share with your friends.